and on several occasions, after taking the renounced order, he attempted to go to Gundagin, but his devotees, fearing separation from him, always diverted or discouraged him from visiting Gundagin. Finally, after living some time in Puri, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after the rainy season and Lord Jagannath's Ratayatra festival, began his journey to Vrindavan with a servant, Bharatbhadra Bhattacharya. On his way to Vrindavan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed through the forest of Jarkham in great ecstasy. Tigers, elephants, rhinoceros, and bears were there. Bharatbhadra Bhattacharya, the servant of Mahaprabhu, was very afraid to see the wild animals. But by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's influence, all the animals stood to one side. Hearing him chanting the holy names of the Lord, the tigers and deer began following him. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately remembered the land of Vrindavan. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Chant Krishna, Krishna, the tigers and deer began to embrace and kiss each other and began to dance and chant, Krishna, Krishna. Supreme Personality of Godhead, he found two paddy fields whose waters had reduced to the size of two small ponds. He entered them and took bath. When the people of the village saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking his bath in those two ponds in the middle of the paddy fields, they were very much astonished. In that lake, Lord Krishna and Sri Mati Ranurani used to sport daily in the water and have a rasa dance on the back. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thus offered prayers to Radha Kun. Sri Chaitanya had rediscovered Shama Kun and Radha Kun. Overwhelmed by ecstatic love, he danced on the bank, remembering the pastimes that Krishna performed on the bank of Radhakun, and drew tilak marks on his body with the clay from Radhakun. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded to the Govardhan Tarifam Park. <laughs> 